I grew up here on this farm and I have my memories around the farm and I really think that that's helped define who I am. I was able to stay involved enough throughout college that I never lost touch with the farm. I always knew what was going on and I never, I never stopped caring about what was happening every day. And I think that's what really was one of the main things that set me off that I really wanted to come back home. So our farm motto is live the dream, work to succeed. And we all try to embody that with everything we do. I, uh, I was always a big dreamer, right from meeting my wife here and working with the registered Holstein. We have a, about 65 cow registered Holstein farm. We raise all our replacement heifers and sell bull calves. The first year the Herd of Excellence came out, we received the Herd of Excellence. It was probably one of the biggest success moments in my life. Being recognized by the National Holstein as one of the top homebred herds. Um, just a passion for the Holstein animal, the Holstein cow and developing pedigrees and seeing when calves are born and seeing them grow up and develop into a you know beautiful cow. I always felt extremely lucky to grow up on a farm. Uh, just working with the cattle, I really enjoyed. Really got a lot of uh, work ethic out of it. Really a lot of self-confidence. I take pride in what I do. Uh, wouldn't have traded it for the world. <laughs> Well, I guess it goes all the way back to when my parents bought me their first calf. I was only 15 months old, but they bought it um, from my grandma's dispersal sale. And really, that was when my interest in the cow took off. To actually cherry it here goes back to uh, Charlie and my first cow. So it's become quite the uh, cow family for me. Then when I was seven, I started showing. And uh, after that, just got more and more involved in the uh, Junior Holstein Association, first at the county level and then state and eventually national, and did just about everything I could. <laughs> when he speaks, most people want to listen to what he has to say. And from a parent's perspective, when the room goes hush and when he speaks, it's, that's quite an accomplishment. <laughs> he grew up and worked hard, and others recognized that. They recognized that he was a worker and that he had the passion and he went on eventually to be named a National Distinguished Junior Member and he was also named the Wisconsin Holstein Boy his final year as a junior. He was on the National Dairy Challenge team and I said now the biggest challenge comes the challenge of life. <laughs> now you gotta make this place work. I've had to step up and really put my best foot forward to help keep the farm going and really decided that if this is what I want to do that I need to work for it and I think that's a passion that's really going to drive me forward going on. For the last couple years I've played the devil's advocate. I've thrown at him many scenarios. I did never wanted him to come home because he felt he had to come home. I wanted him to come home because it was what he wanted to do. Dairy economy right now is not the greatest to be looking to advance, but we can't always pick the situations. So probably the registered end is going to be a big plus on this place. Obviously making milk is the whole core of the dairy industry, and I think the Holstein cow has really been bred and developed as being the perfect milk making animal and has been tremendous for us in being profitable with our management style. I think what really makes the registered Holstein cow the perfect cow is that we as breeders can decide what we want to work with and then really choose how we manage with her. Kind of find a niche that I want to work in and really develop that to bring more value to my operation. He'll always be my little boy. <laughs> I just want him to be able to look back and be happy he made the decision he did when he was 22 years old and fresh out of the gate. 
that he can look back and say it was a good life.